Tell me, children, will you be able to lift a huge rock with your hands? Or will you be able to climb all the stairs of a 25-storied building with these? I won't be able to do it. Whenever man found work difficult, he thought of simpler ways to do it and thus invented simple machines. Tools or instruments that make work easier to do are called machines. Machines can be simple or complex. Simple machines help us to change direction of the force applied and also overcome a larger force using a smaller force. Simple machines are of six types. Lever is a rigid rod which can turn about a fixed point or axis. You must have used a steel spoon often to open a tight lid, isn't it? You know, the spoon here serves as a simple machine lever which helps us lift or move weight easily. A liver has three parts, load, the weight or an object to be lifted, fulcrum, the fixed point on which the rod moves, effort is the force used to move or lift the load. Livers are again of three types. The first class liver are those which have a fulcrum in the middle. The load and effort are on the either sides. First class levers can be seen in scissors, seesaw, etc. In second class levers, the load is in the middle. The effort and the fulcrum are on the either sides. Example of second class levers are bottle openers, wheelbarrows, etc. In third class levers, the effort is in the middle. The load and the fulcrum are on the either sides. A stapler, our arm, etc. are examples of third class levers. A rod called axle is fitted with a wheel to create a wheel and axle arrangement. The wheel becomes a simple machine when combined with an axle which actually is a small rod. The door knob with which you open your door, the bicycle pedal, the screwdriver are examples of wheel and axle. This simple machine pulley is made of a rope and a wheel. In a pulley, an effort can be applied in one direction and a load can be moved in another direction. A pulley is used to do twice as much work with the same method. You all must have seen a pulley fitted on a well to lift a bucket of water. Even cranes at a construction site also have pulleys. An inclined plane is a slope over which a load can be easily pushed up or rolled down. Heavy objects can be moved more easily from a lower to a higher level with the help of an inclined plane. The ramps used in the hospital or in the basement parking is an example of the simple machine. A winding road going up a mountain is also a good example of an inclined plane. The screws that you often see in the desks, windows, cupboards, etc. are inclined planes around a rod in the form of a spiral. The circular motion of a screw helps to move things upward and downward. A screw holds things together through a longer distance with a stronger grip. A wedge is two inclined planes joined together to form a sharpened edge. It is used to split or cut objects, example, axe, knife, etc. And when two or more simple machines are joined together, we get a complex machine. Thank you.